You gotta know! It's crazy! It's absolutely freaking crazy! Jazz hands crazy! How in the hell does frigging people do care work or crisis intervention work in a foreign land when you're sex positive? That doesn't make any sense. Can you picture it? Relief work, sex positive style. Okay, I'm all down for sex positive just because I'm down for minimal government. But what the heck is frigging relief work but social egalitarianism? So, okay, small government and sex positive is not exactly the same thing. One's freaking do what you want to do, but you could also say, you could say, uh, don't do what we don't want you to do. It's just about the government not being involved either way. Sex positive is about either things being legalized or things being decriminalized. In other words, the government saying, yeah, it's okay, we're going to freaking regulate it. And the other way is saying, okay, it's all right, we're just not going to freaking bother it. You know? We're just going to freaking make it not illegal. So, okay. But now, relief work freaking going over to help the poor and unfortunate economically and apparently socially because people sex femmes are having a pitch a bitch about frigging the frigging problem of frigging western colonization uh, evangelicalism, neocolonialism is just shit. Okay, okay, fine. I can accept that. But then you freaking got the antis that freaking go over and freaking stop all the horrible things in place of the freaking evangelizing. So, okay, well, we don't want you to do that because you're being disadvantaged, you're being disenfranchised, you're being victimized by your own self. And it's horrible, the anti-gays, the, the women being violated, the little kids, the kids doing horrible, horrible. Okay, that shit's really horrible. Fuck that shit. But, you know, it's fucking part of life in the third world. Okay, but, but anyway, beyond the kids, okay? Fuck that shit. That shit's real. But, oh, it's so horrible. You know, and it's freaking so bad. You know, in the third world, it's just like, yeah, okay, I'm starving, Marvin. I'm hanging with it. You know, I'm doing what I got to do to get a freaking bag of rice. And I'm going to get my freaking bag of rice. How would a sex positive freaking relief worker handle this with a pair of platforms and freaking freaking feathered freaking handcuffs? How would that work? There's an aspect of liberty. First you have, I heard this somewhere, I don't know where, you have a basic liberty where you're the liberty of the savage, which is bullshit, but we'll go with it for right now, just because I heard it somewhere. And you're friggin' born free, free to hunt and die and friggin' get friggin' displaced upon by other savages and, and all that shit, you know, and whatever you want to think of Bronze Age people. 
And then freaking you have a society and you're a totalitarian, authoritarian, upstairs, downstairs, freaking, can I get you some tea and stand against the wall and I think I'll doodle my slave, you know, and have several freaking, freaking ancestors from Monticello, you know, oh, the horror of this freaking past is like the third world, ooh, yes, horror. Okay, but it was history, so okay, and now it's happening now. Okay, you know. Well, anyway, I had to think of that one for a minute. But yeah, all right, so it happens now. Okay, great. I mean, not great, but you know. But then in the third way, you come around to where liberty is again installed beyond the tyranny so you have freedom tyranny freedom again and the freedom is built upon those freedoms that were taken away but okay how are you going to supply that freedom to somebody who doesn't have it in the first place because all they have is the freedom freedom of the savage or the third world condition how are you going to skip over the building part what would you build a sex positive feminist authoritarian ship on to have a freedom from because you can't really have a freedom from unless you have a authoritarian built up to have that freedom from so shaking the friggin pumps and the friggin feathered friggin handcuffs what are you gonna teach these little kids or these friggin battered women or these friggin men who friggin think friggin doodling little kids will save them from AIDS, you know? How is the sex freedom relief effort supposed to work? Hoes without borders? It doesn't make that much sense. Come on! Be self-objective to your own causes and realize that everything under the sun is eclipsed by the moon and nothing is perfect and everything freaking loses its center because the center cannot hold and everything slouches to Bethlehem. It does. Humanity is shit and the world is shit and everyone knows it and nothing is ever perfect because freaking everyone, every freaking human living out there, freaking bonobo with a freaking Uzi, finds a way to freaking game the system and buck it up again. Or freaking be successful and freaking add freaking 15 dozen million relatives that freaking act like a freaking monkey circus on a freaking bike that tips the whole thing over. It's freaking the plight of humanity. The living society so how is it supposed to work if you friggin give them stability you take away liberty if you give them freaking stability you create prosperity where you create prosperity you have to have an infrastructure to support the extra population if you don't have that it falls into entropy or entropy atrophy which is it going to be and how are you going to have a freedom of sex positive feminism based off a tyranny of necessary laws from an industrialized society how 
<laughs> What's your solution? Wait. GWB. That's right. What's your solution? GWB.